are as hateful a symbol as there is in American discourse. Would you not agree? Speaker Nancy Pelosi told reporters yesterday about these swastikas, and her staff gave me an earful after my show yesterday for not confirming what she had said. All right, here's why I couldn't confirm what she had said. Yeah, we saw this video that she was referring to with the swastika. But our standards here at CNN are a little different, and they don't allow us to use pictures from a blog until we're able to independently confirm its validity. So I reported yesterday that we had no proof of the swastikas. Since then, we've done some independent reporting of our own, checked the video through our own sources, and can now tell you that Speaker Pelosi was correct. This sign held aloft by a woman at a health care event in Fort Collins, Colorado, does in fact show the swastika. To be clear, the swastika has a strike running through it, as if to say no Nazis. Still, it's obviously unsettling. And now we're finding out there may be a pattern here. Look at this, seen Thursday outside a health for healthcare forum in Romulus, Michigan. A photo of the president, defaced by a Hitler mustache. Now this, see that sign? It depicts Texas Democrat Lloyd Doggett as the devil. Look to the left of that sign and you see the symbol of the murderous Nazi SS on a sign that says something to the effect, stop socialism. If you see another view of that same sign, you'll notice and we can see the man who's holding it up and we discover he's holding a little girl on his shoulders as he's holding that sign. One more follow. Look at this. This from yesterday. A child. Denver, Colorado. Enough said? Well, maybe. Except maybe for this. Just a few hours ago, the Anti-Defamation League released a statement calling the use of Nazi imagery into the health care debate outrageous, deeply offensive, and inappropriate.